Hello Mallards, it is Wednesday. We are outside of Eureka Books again because the girls are going to ask Zoltar for a fortune. Are you excited? Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. But Zoltar is here to tell you you can believe it. Age is simply a matter of mind. If you don't mind, then my friend, it doesn't matter. So go on, be carefree like a little baby. But first, <laughs> give Zoltar a little money and I will give you a fortune. There's your fortune. Zoltar the Gypsy, and I have some words of wisdom to bring you much happiness. As you travel through this life, remember this. If you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. Go ahead and let Zoltar tell you more. All right, and you gotta pull it a little bit to the side. There we go. We have made it to the top of the gazebo, and apparently, who's the fortune teller? Me. Both of you, you guys are gonna tell my fortune. What do I need to do? Sit? Okay. Yeah, you're the only one that can sit at this table. I'm sitting. What now? You okay, you've gone around five times, so move. I have to guess what my fortune is. Uh -huh. And I'm guessing that my fortune is your nieces will buy you chocolate. You have to be on there. Is that right? You can't be on here. You I have, have, have to watch. guess one you by the clues. The oh, yeah, well, you said it was in town. And it would involve going into a different store. Uh -huh. And I said it would be close to mm -hmm. Eureka Books. Yep. Mm -hmm. And chocolate and is close to Eureka Books. So my nieces are going to buy me chocolate in Old Town Eureka. That's my fortune. What do you think my fortune is? No, it's not the oh, fortune. What is my fortune? Your fortune is... You have to come Somebody's going to buy you something in that store. Somebody's gonna buy me something in that store? All right, I like that fortune. We are shopping around and I found barefoot sandals. If, if ever there was a more NorCal product, I, I don't know it. It's just beautiful woven uh, fabric that you makes it look like you're wearing a sandal even when you're not. So that you can just uh, walk around and be barefoot, I guess. Wow, I love it. We are now outside of the hospital. Graham's gonna appear in a window up there and we're gonna chat with her. Yeah, so we have picked fruit off of what is apparently a strawberry tree. What do you think of it, Yeti? Good. Good. Tess, do you like it? Uh-huh. Was that big one okay? Uh-huh. You can pick me another one? Uh-huh. Thank yeah, you. This looks like... Can I have another one? Casey also was a fan. Dark. Yeah. See? Yeah, that is really dark, dark. Can I even eat? Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm liking this. So, uh, the strawberry tree turns out it's edible. Here. Oh, thank you very much. You tell me if it's edible or not. No, it's good. Yeah. We just got to FaceTime with Graham. Did you say hi to Graham? Uh huh. Yeah, did you show her your, well, tell her about your drawings? Uh huh. And we have made it to the botanical gardens. Kellen got us a map. Uh, Tess and Harriet are doing piggyback and look at it, it's so pretty already. There's a lot of pretty stuff to see. We found three baby banana slugs. Baby three. banana slugs. Three. Touch them. No. Lick them. No. <laughs> Tess is our leader on this adventure. We are on a trail where supposedly there were bear sightings, but I have not sighted a bear or even seen bear droppings, so who knows. Our journey up here was definitely more difficult than it needed to be. Apparently we could have just taken the straight road, but uh, it was fun. I had a good time. Kellen and Casey, the, the jury's out. But there was no bear and I had been promised a bear. So I'm a little sad about that. But you know, you win some, you lose some. Yeah. Today I lost. I think I was probably just with Tess and she was talking too much for there to be a bear, right? Yeah. We made it all the way up to the earth sculpture. All right, I think you need to walk it. See, over to your left, that's where it starts. You can't step over the fence. You just have to walk on the grass. Okay. Okay. Have fun. I don't know at what point we tell them that they're going to be going half a mile. Right. By doing this. <laughs> wow, look at this garden. Look at that red-leafed tree. 
Gosh, this whole thing is so pretty. There's a lot of pretty stuff to see I out here. If we did the trail just like 10 minutes ago, there was back there, there was past the trail that we came from to the old school, to the earth school church. We would have been there by now. We would have been there right now. Nah, I think that we're almost there now and we've taken the right spot. Me, 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 me. What'd you do? I was pressing the buttons to get in so that wow. the trap wouldn't catch me. Look, there's a dragon. Wow. Casey, there's a dragon. Don't stand on his wing, that's rude. That's his wing? Yeah, that's his wing on the ground. Will you go up and pet his head? You don't want to do it? You Will you take video of me petting his head? Yeah. Okay, make sure to get, oh, don't put your hand there. Just put your hand down here. Okay. Here we go. Okay, can you see me and the dragon? Can you see me and the dragon? Uh-huh. And my face? Uh-huh. He's a very nice dragon, you know? Uh -huh. Maybe we'll be friends. What do you think? What do I don't think a so. Dragon? You don't think he'll be my friend? <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> ah, Tom! <laughs> <laughs> I am on my way out of the gardens because I have to go to rehearsal, but uh, it turns out that they're having a gala on Saturday. Uh, and so there are a bunch of artists here because I guess, are you guys at the gala selling work or? Yeah. yeah. Participating mm -hmm. in the event. And oh, there work. is painting happening at the gala. Yeah. Which is exciting. Okay. okay. So what is your name? I'm Nancy Rapai. Nancy. And your medium I'm of choice is, this is oil pastels? Soft pastels. Soft pastels. Soft pastels. Pastel. They're very chalky and very mm -hmm. white. This is just in the midst, but this was the, my first piece. Yeah, and it's of the past, right here. Down there, trying Beautiful. To get these lovely puppies. Yeah, I love it, Nancy. Oh, is that what those things that look like eggs are? Yep, huh. it's like eggs, and they are Matilla, Matia puppies, something like that. Oh, yeah. Well, thanks, Nancy. It looks beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. Uh, turns out we're running into a bunch of artists. So, what is your name? Kathy O'Leary. Kathy O'Leary, and what are you, this is, is this acrylic paint? Is that what this is? It's oil. Oil paint. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, hence the, all of the. Yeah, it's not drying out like mm -hmm. acrylic does. And she's been doing this beautiful shot right here, clearly. That's mm -hmm. yeah. It's very beautiful, Nancy, I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Do you like, is, do you paint here often or is this just for the gala? Um, I don't paint here as often as I used to, but mm. so this is for the gala, but I've painted out here over the years quite mm. a bit. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah. Thanks for chatting with me. Sure. Oh, what is your name? My name is Paul Ricard. All right, Paul Ricard, and you are also painting for the gala? Yes, yes I am. But you have started some stuff and your medium of choice is clearly watercolor. Yes, yeah. Oh, and I see this is this uh, view right here. I can see the little shed. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. So I'm, I'm going to try to work in the uh, fall colors here a little more than they are, I think, and then work kind of around these colors that I've laid in, you know, the mm -hmm. you know, black-eyed Susan, are they? I'm not sure what to Yes, think I think about. that's probably correct. Yeah, so there'll be a kind of motif of flowers in here and then just darks and lights around the that's beautiful yeah and i see you have one that's finished too yeah you know it's from up above down. today yeah you did that already today yeah goodness the gardens haven't even been open that long <laughs> <laughs> i'm impressed i am back at the hotel i had rehearsal which went pretty well meanwhile <laughs> tess went to dinner at small cookhouse did you have a good dinner Harriet, did you have a good dinner? Uh-huh. Yeah. And did you guys have fun? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my rehearsal went really well. And apparently Tess called me old while I was gone, so there's that. Uh, and I guess we will see you tomorrow. Can you guys blow a kiss? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> She's a goof. I can do this game too. You guys are ridiculous.